please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on that like button if you like my video. Also click on that notification bell. Thank you. Hello and welcome to the timing lesson. The timing is the group or sub-functionality of the transitioning from one slide to another and it offers us some of the additional functionality like sound duration applied to all and advanced slide. Let me take let me take you really quickly onto the time menu which is part of the transition menu. So if you are on the transition the first thing that we have already covered is transition to the slide. We have already covered the preview part. Now if you look at the, all the way to the right, you're going to find the timing. The timing allows you to automate your slide transitions from one slide to another automatically without you having to do it. Or you could add some sound to it, duration of that sound, and you could also move to another one. So let's take a quick look. I'm going to use the same slides that I used previously and I will apply timing to it. So the first slide that I have right here is the character Jerry Seinfeld, again, who's the main character of the Seinfeld show. If I go to timing and let's say whenever I play this slide, I want to have an applause. When you click on applause, then you could actually select the duration of the applause, like how long do you want to have that applause, like people clapping when this slide shows up. You could have 25 seconds. And then you could say you wanted to have this to go to the next slide with the mouse click. Or you could completely automate that saying after certain seconds. So let's say one, two, three seconds. So this slide will show up and it will have an applause of 0.25 seconds and after 3 seconds it will advance to this slide. Once it comes to this slide I wanted to play another sound. I wanted to play for example um, wind. So with the wind if I click on slideshow and that's how the wind is gonna sound like. So how long do we want the wind for? We want we don't want for too long, we want it for pretty much twenty-five seconds, point two five seconds. And I want it to change again to three seconds. So now this is gonna come up twenty-five and this is gonna come up after three seconds and then it will advance to the next slide after three seconds. So now these two slide four and slide five both of them are automated now. Now let's see how it's gonna show up when we actually do the slideshow. So let's go sit tight and let's watch and let's enjoy the show. Cool? Now it went to the next one. Now this Cosmo Kramer slide is not part of the timing. So it's going to stay here until I click next. But again, I could still automate the entire slideshow by picking one slide and simply say apply to all. And it will apply to all and it will go from one slider to another. All you have to do is sit back and let the people enjoy the show. That's why this timing piece is very popular. Sometimes I do use it whenever I need to do a slideshow which goes on its own. All right, if you have any questions, please let me know. And that pretty much covers our everything about our transitioning from one slide to another. I hope you learned something new in the transitioning. And again, I'm always here to help if you have questions.